So in the question number 8, we have to look for the right option with respect to the analogous organs. Now what are the analogous organ? In the analogous organ, origin is different but the function is same. So the first option we see here, four limbs of heart, they are for running. Wings of bat, they are for flying. So function is here different, so this option will not be different. Wings of bat, wings of butterfly, they both are for flying function, same here. So, ये analogous organs हैं. Four limbs of horse, they are for running, and wings, they are for flying. तो यहाँ पर different function हो गया. So this won't be under the analogous condition. Yes, wings of bird and wings of bats, they both are involved in the flying function is same. तो ये दोनों analogous हो गए. ठीक है. So analogous की category के अंदर आ जाएगा second and four. So the right answer for this question is option number two. So let's move on to the question number nine here. In the question number nine, we have to look for the organism which is used as a biopesticide. तो biopesticide का मतलब क्या होता है? Biopesticide का मतलब है कि living organism या उसके component को हम use करते हैं for controlling the pest. So if we look at the first option, azola. Azola एक aquatic fern है. इस aquatic fern के अंदर there is presence of anabina, symbiotic association है anabina का. And anabina is involved in the nitrogen fixation. So azola can be used for increasing the nitrogen content. So it is not at all a bio pesticide. It is a bio fertilizer. The same is the condition with the anabina, nitrogen fixer है. Rhizobium is also a symbiotic nitrogen fixer associated with the roots of leguminous plant. So all these three options, they represent biofertilizers. So if you look into the last option, that is the option number four, trichoderma. Trichoderma is a fungi. And this fungi is a variety of pathogens. Trichoderma is also used for controlling the nematodes. Yes, it has anti-nematodal properties. So the right answer for this question is option number four. So number question number 10 here, this is a question which is related to the genetics. So now what is there in the question? Uh, there is a homozygous tall plant. Yes, this is one parent. It is crossed with the homozygous recessive dwarf plant. Yes, this is the second parent. So when the cross is done, F1 generation is obtained and the F1 generation represent heterozygous tall plant. Now what the question is demanding here, which of the following correctly defines our test cross? Now this is a very important cross which was performed by the Mendel. Now what is the test cross? In the test cross, F1 hybrid is crossed with the recessive parent. Yes, the F1 hybrid, it is crossed with the recessive parent. Then you call this as a test cross. And if the F1 parent, it is crossed with the homozygous dominant parent, you call this as outcross. The test cross and the outcross, they are the two type of the back crosses. So now we can look for the right option for the test cross here. That is the option number four. That is the F1 hybrid. It is crossed with the homozygous recessive parent. So the right answer for this question is option number four so let's move on to the question number 11 here 